This is from the Oncology, Outreach and Palliative Care Department at Great Ormond Street Hospital, dated the 20th of November 2018. I'm writing to support a request for urgent, suitable housing for Oliver and his family. Oliver was diagnosed with a brain tumour earlier this year. He is undergoing chemotherapy. As a result of his treatment, Oliver has prolonged periods of neutropenia, which will mean that he will have a reduced ability to fight infections. The current property has vermin in close proximity, which is a massive risk to Oliver. Any infections caught could be life-threatening. Oliver needs additional bulking equipment to meet his care needs. He may also need nursing support in the home, therefore there needs to be enough space to facilitate this safely. I request as a matter of urgency that Oliver's need for safe housing is addressed. My name is Georgina, I'm 28 years old and I'm a secondary mathematics teacher. I'm a single mother to Oliver, who is three years old. We've had a rat issue since 2017. We've put this down here to stop rats from going under the, under the door. It was really bad at Christmas time. I opened the, the communal bin area, situated to the left of Oliver's bedroom. Looked on the floor, there was rats absolutely everywhere, it was, it was awful. Pest control has said that we've got holes in the boiler cupboard that they can't get to, so we're living with the potential risk of rats basically coming back into the property. Oliver is immune suppressed, undergoing chemotherapy and is a cancer patient. If he even came into contact with a rat, it could be a fatality. the living, kitchen, everything. We are overcrowded. This room is actually used as a kitchen, dining, utility room, bedroom. And I have to hang up all of our washing in Oliver's bedroom. It really feels quite overwhelming sometimes. We are a family who needs help. We can't just go into an estate agent and ask for us to be moved because we're on housing benefits. I'm not able to work at the moment. I'm a single mother, I have a sick son, yet this is our option and this is our only option. I understand that there's only so much that the council can do. There needs to be more social housing made. Oliver deserves to be in a home where he feels safe and secure. He is going through so much at the moment. He deserves so much more than this. <laughs>